Welcome American Truckers to Trucking with Old Snapper, and I am Old Snapper. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. It's free, doesn't cost you a thing. This is your home to get your news and trucking in under five minutes. Today, I got two stories for you. We're going to get them both in in under five minutes. Let's get it. First story, two found dead in cab of a semi at Tennessee truck stop. Police in Lebanon, Tennessee are investigating after two people were found dead at a truck stop, according to the Lebanon Police Department. On the morning of August 24th, officers responded to a pilot truck stop location to perform a welfare check. The officers on the scene discovered the bodies of two people inside the cab of a parked truck. The preliminary investigation shows no signs of foul play, but the investigation is still ongoing, authorities said. The bodies of two individuals were transported to the medical examiner's office for further investigation. Police haven't released the identities of the deceased individuals. What do y'all think? Drug overdose? Maybe there was a third person in the cab? Let's hear your thoughts. It's kind of odd two people die at the exact same time. Possibly have been leaking emissions into the truck. Maybe they were idling. You know, who knows? What's y'all's thoughts? All right, now we're going to get on to this next story. In this next story, it's going to be a stolen truck. Springfield area law enforcement chase affordable towing truck throughout town. And they ended up getting him stopped. They haven't released his name yet. The whole situation seems a little fishy to me. You're going to see the manager at affordable towing talking. Not sure if they had an altercation with him and that's why he did what he did. The whole thing just seems strange. I'm going to let the news release play from their local news there in Missouri from Springfield. After that, that'll close this out. I appreciate all of y'all for stopping by. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Wild police chase through north and west Springfield. That's video right there from the Ozarks traffic cameras. It shows police and deputies chasing that big red tow truck down West Bypass. Francis Watson is live near Kansas Expressway in Mount Vernon where the dangerous chase finally ended. What started all of this, Francis? You know, Paul Maria, police aren't quite sure right now. They believe the driver may have been under the influence. And I can tell you right away, it wasn't quite clear whether or not the truck was stolen. It turns out it was. The manager of, a, of affordable towing telling us the driver on his day off decided to come and take the truck off the lot without permission. Of course, there was a chase the streets of Springfield. Eventually, police stopping him here on Kansas Expressway near the corner of Mount Vernon. He's rolling red lights. I can't keep up with him. This Ozarks traffic camera video shows police and deputies chasing the truck on West Bypass in Springfield Monday afternoon. A four tow truck driving extremely C and I running red lights and swerving all over the road. The Greene County Sheriff's Office says it started when the driver left the scene of a crash at Glenstone and I-44. Do you know what's going on with the tow trucks? We have an unmarked that's following it and sounds like his driving is extremely erratic. We're not really sure if it's been stolen or not. They're unable to get a hold of the tow truck driver. Christine Engel with Affordable Towing says the driver wasn't scheduled to work, just took off with the truck without permission. My drivers are all safety trained. They're, you know, we have trackers on their trucks, so we know where they are at all times. It's just, I, this was just an unfortunate circumstance. Like, I don't even know what even to say on that. Officers then spotting the truck when it nearly hit several parked vehicles. The truck quickly making its way across town. He's still west I'm from National. He's now striking curbs and I think other cars and driving the wrong direction on Norton. I tried calling his phone, phone several times, you know, trying to get him to make contact with him to say, hey, if you're having some issues, you need to pull over. I'll have someone come get the truck. But he went, I couldn't get him. The driver's behavior becoming erratic. Turner, he is driving from the passenger seat in and out of traffic. He keeps punching the windshield. Police deploying spike strips to get him to stop. But that did little to slow the driver down. Through the red light, through the red light, scenic and sunshine, still eastbound. I do not, his driving actions are going to change regardless of pursuit. He's acting like he's got some kind of major issue. Officers stopped the truck and arrested the driver after a brief foot chase. He worked so hard to try to help the company and save the company, and then the drivers decide they want to do something like this, really kind of irritate you a little bit. Well, thankfully, no one was injured, but authorities, again, do believe that the driver may have been impaired. That has not been confirmed. He is being booked into the Greene County Jail right now. Formal charges are pending.